Good afternoon, visitors. Right now we have the Arthur M. Anderson departing through the Duluth Ship Canal. The Arthur M. Anderson was built in 1952 by the American Shipbuilding Company at Lorain, Ohio. She measures 767 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a 7,700 horsepower Westinghouse steam turbine engine, which gives her a top speed of 13 knots or about 15 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. In fact, that little bit of black smoke that you saw as she turned uh, a little bit earlier was from, I believe, her stern thruster, which they turned on, so it helped her turn to make the departure to the canal here. just heard there is known as the captain's salute which is a traditional greeting between the ships and the bridge the ship initiates a greeting with one long blast followed by two short blasts and the bridge responds with the same thing just to comment quickly on her steam turbine engine she's only one of five active vessels on the great lakes that still has a steam turbine engine and she is only one of three that are active this season her sister ships the calway case and jake calway and phil bark clark are not operating as of right now the Arthur M. Anderson has 23 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch cover measures 46 by 11 feet. She has maximum carrying capacity of 25,300 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,700 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Anderson is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also of Duluth. The Anderson is famous for being the last vessel to have visual radar and radio contact with the Edmund Fitzgerald just before the Fitzgerald sank in a squall 17 miles northwest of Whitefish Point in Lake Superior on November 10, 1975. Her captain reported the Fitzgerald missing to the Coast Guard and assisted in their search for her. The Anderson was named after the director of U.S. Steel and vice chairman of the J.P. Morgan Company at the time she was built. She is one of three AAA class ships built for the Pittsburgh Steamship Division of U.S. Steel. She is on her way out today with a partial cargo of blast furnace trim, which is uh, basically raw taconite rock. And they're also loaded with a partial cargo of uh, iron ore pellets, which they loaded at Canadian National. They're taking both those cargoes to Gary, Indiana on Lower Lake Michigan. So once again, we have the Arthur M. Anderson departing through the Duluth Ship Canal. She was built in 1952, measures 767 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She has maximum carrying capacity of 25,300 tons, owned by uh, Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated. And once again, she is departing with a cargo of blast furnace trim and iron ore pellets for Gary, Indiana. If folks are willing to stick around, we have another vessel coming in. The KE Barker should be arriving uh, through the canal here in about 40 minutes. It's another really cool historic freighter, so I invite everyone to either return the next 40 minutes or uh, stay put and uh, watch another cool ship come through.